What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. My name is Bleeves. We are here today to talk about crypto.com and the Crowverse and the Kronos blockchain. And we're going to lead off with this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. All right, guys, first things first, this price, uh, this price action, we had an enormous run up in the entire crypto market. Uh, Crow, the Crow token did not stick with this. So, uh, we do have to discuss that. We did reach what would, what you would call a death cross that came when the 50, uh, was overtaken by the 200 AM, uh, SMA. So we are dealing with that right now and did not play out as would be expected. What you would have expected is this right here would have dipped all the way down and created some very bearish pressure. But what you ended up seeing was this little, these bottom wicks right here. Uh, started themselves off. So you could see that there was a reversal coming, uh, just like you saw when this topping wick happened and it caused that price action to move to the downside, right? Well, this one gave us a clear indication that there was a big and significant move coming. And we got that big and significant move coming. Uh, total value created at that point was about 15% in short order. Now, uh, of course, that had been a, there'd been a run on the price. So uh, you know, we'll deal with that in a little while, but uh, we also got this gigantic topping wick over here, which meant that the price was coming down, which is in line with what's going on right now on the 50 and the 200 SMA. Now, what you if you kind of zoom in here, you can notice that this probably will not last very long. You can already see the shifting uh, down this way and over this way. This is the four hour, by the way. When you look at the one hour, you're starting to see that crossover again. So we're probably looking at, in short order, a move this way and this way. So you're going to start seeing some price action uh, in the positive. And it, it does look like the market is moving pretty well right now. So I would expect on this one hour that every time we get that enormous crossover there, we do get a, a very big pump. Uh, so I, I think that that is in, indicative of we're going to test that uh, 8.3 line up here. And then perhaps we're going to get into this channel because we did, by the way, get back into this channel. Now, remember, I talked to you about this. Uh, wasn't comfortable with us breaking outside of this channel. And as you zoom out, you kind of, you know, you look around and. Uh, I, I, I don't think that there was a different channel. I, I don't think there was a different channel. I think that we just fell out. Uh, now we're back in. And instead of recreating it, uh, it, it's kind of worked itself out. Now, the best thing that could happen at this point is going to be uh, a test, uh, which we're most likely going to come down here and we're going to retest. Now, if it takes a few hours, then we're not going to be retesting this uh, 78 line. Uh, this is going to continue moving up. So we'll end up meeting it right here, 78.5, somewhere around there, uh, making a test before moving back up and taking on uh, these, these highs again and getting ourselves up into this next level. But at some point, we're going to have to have a breakout move. And that breakout move pro will probably run us into uh, this 13 range. Now, this 13 range is significant. And I want to zoom out on the day chart so you guys can see this. Uh, and by the way, on the day chart, you're about to witness, it's going to take about five or six more days, maybe even up to two weeks before we get it. But there is a golden cross uh, starting to form as long as we get some positive price action over the next few days. But that 13 cent line, uh, guys, this is the collapse of uh, FTX. This is a significant line that we need to get over in order for us to get to that next level. So we're done talking about price action right now. Just know those are your levels. Uh, I do expect that we're probably going to test this wick down here. Uh, but, you know, obviously, of course, mathematically speaking, we're going to, but it's going to be that 9.36 uh, cents line. Uh, because that is also a resistance area. As you can see, as this 200 is coming down, uh, we're probably going to be right in that area uh, before coming up again and testing 10 cents. It's going to be specifically 10 cents because you know how they do. So uh, we'll see what happens over the next little while, uh, but let's move on. All right, guys, so let's move on here and let's talk about a couple of listings. We now have uh, crypto.com app lists the open leverage protocol. Open leverage is a permissionless lending margin trading protocol that enables traders or other applications to long or short on any trading pair. 
uh, on DEXs efficiently and securely. Uh, so definitely go check them out. Go to their website if you are interested. And also, Velo. Now, you know it because you've been... Look, this is one of those big ones. Um, Velo is a decentralized settlement network that allows participants to safely and securely transfer value between each other in a timely and transparent way. Uh, this is uh, a, a big token, large uh, volume, large cap. So if you're interested, it's now trading on crypto.com. Well, that's it. You know the price action. Uh, you know about the open leverage. You know about Velo. Um, there's going to be big things in the future, guys. There's always something happening at crypto.com. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell to be notified of future content. This is not financial advice. My name's Believes. I am always right. So thank you so much for tuning in, and we will talk to you again soon. I'm on you to go.